All right, guys, so I've been gone for a minute, but I'm back and I'm here to stay. So if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and drop me a like. Let's just get right into the shenanigans today. Oh yeah, and just one last thing. Typically, I like to look a little bit more presentable when I'm blasting my face all over the internet, beat my face, if you will, but I just got a really hardcore laser microneedling treatment yesterday and I can't wear makeup. So I tried with some mascara, but if you're wondering why I look wrecked that is why but anyways you're not here to judge my beauty so let's get into it so since i've been gone on my little hiatus there's been a lot of drama on the internet per usual but today's story is not as much drama filled as it is just dio volatile diarrhea diabolical horrible disgusting awful horrendous so by now i'm sure we have all seen the video of the white girl dropping the n so this girl named Lily, she's apparently one of those right-wing wannabe trad wives, though she is not a wife at all, unsurprisingly. She's just a girl cosplaying on the internet, pretending to be a conservative right-wing trad wife. It is quite the grift, let me just say. So let's watch the video, for those of you who have not seen it yet, and brace yourselves. And this time I have a beef with the male community. I give my criticisms to all because we are all about equity and inclusion here, right? So I'm sick and tired of all girls getting blamed or like guys, certain guys, thinking that all girls are gold diggers. I don't know if it's because you get your information from those street interviews in like Miami at 3 a.m. outside of a nightclub. You're getting the opinion of some dumb and immigrants fresh off the boat looking for a green card. Yes, they are probably gold diggers, but that's the exception. I'm the rule. Everybody I know who's married right now, they're married to broke ass Ooh. And they don't care. We don't give a fuck about your money. I couldn't care less about your fucking money, okay? My type is broke mechanics and surfer hippie dudes who just want to live in a shack and surf and have babies. All I ask of a man is that you're competent, you're, you're not a pussy. If somebody broke into our house at 3 a.m., you would know how to grab a gun and shoot a mother That's That's pretty much all we ask. Like, that's most all, that's pretty much like all girls I know. I don't know one girl who's a gold digger. So stop throwing us all under the bus as if we're all gold diggers because we don't give a f I don't give a f about your money. My dating history consists of all broke guys. I actually don't even like rich guys. They have an attitude, they're spoiled brats. They don't know anything about real life. I was raised on a farm with four brothers, so I can't deal with the bullshit. I don't like a pussy. I hate pussies. So stop with the gold digger, stop. Ooh, ooh, that was rough to watch. It was hard getting through that. But um, first of all, I'm not sure if that's something to brag about that you only date broke guys or you like broke guys. Weird flex, but okay so of course this video got a lot of attention i think it got around 19 million views and understandably people were not happy most normal people were pissed so the next day she posts another video not apologizing but doubling down so a recent video of mine seems to have upset members of a certain community and it this all the backlash just really made me you know just certain community let's really do a deep dive like do a soul search and after all that i still couldn't find a care you're gonna call us racist you're gonna call us potential timothy mcveigh's you what a badass i just have to say i really hate these type of girls because they really think they're like saying something they really think they're like doing something but they're just idiots so after all this went down people were obviously looking into this girl's background trying to figure out who this girl was and making videos about her because she's just crazy and one creator made a video analyzing her behavior and compared her to pearl but i think this video is just fantastic for those of you who are upset with what great value pearl said let me tell you something i've actually seen her videos before and the funny thing about great value pearl is that she's either rage baiting or being a pick me or complaining about being single because as we know the biggest pick me's never get what picked but what i can tell you as a 15 year marketer whose specialty was profiling people online is this latest video is a beautiful illustration of a phenomenon i've seen time and time again and i've talked about before the book queen bees and wannabes which is the book that the movie mean girls was based from so if you look at great value pearl through the lens of a gretchen wieners or a karen i.e the wannabes when they want to emulate who they've decided to choose as their queen bee in this case pearl they often 
didn't fail to realize there's a strategy. Pearl, for all of the stuff that tumbles out of her mouth straight from a bull's ass, is, if nothing, a strategist. She knows exactly what to say and she knows where to draw the line. Now, great value, Pearl. I briefly went through her account to try and get a profile reading off of her. And what I can tell you is that she's been at this since 2020. She has a little over 60,000 followers. That's nothing for four years. And she's following the same exact path I see every time another wannabe pops up. She sees what whoever she's emulating is doing and says, I could do this. I could be the same person. I have these same thoughts and all I have to do is get on the internet and squawk. And girl's been squawking for four years and it's not getting her any attention. So she starts squawking louder, saying stuff that she knows is gonna get her attention. And by golly, this last one did. And that's why she followed up with saying, I'm not gonna apologize because the attention she's getting is exactly the attention she was looking for. And to her, she's like, this is exactly it. I'm finally doing it. And I guarantee you, she's sitting back waiting for Pierce Morgan or whomever to reach out to her. And maybe she'll get a little bit of press attention at some point, but here's the thing. Because she's not strategic, she's gonna be a flash in the pan. Because you can't sustain without a strategy, and I guarantee you she has none. If she had a strategy, it wouldn't have taken her four years just to reach 60,000 followers, and she wouldn't have needed to drop the end bomb just to get some attention. And not only does not having a strategy not help you sustain your growth, but it also doesn't help you look out for what we in the marketing biz called watchouts and threats, which is how people embroil themselves in social media scandals that are eventually their downfall. And this isn't it. She planned this so she can get the followers that are in her little ideology demographic, right? But eventually she's going to screw up and piss them off. And because she's so damn predictable, I'm going to call it right now. As the heat on her grows and people start talking about this more, she's going to do what I like to call emoji face racketeering. And that's when people use mainly these emojis are the, are the stars of emoji face racketeering. And that's what people use when they're actually bothered, but they're trying to play it off like they're unbothered. So I guarantee either in her video replies or in comment replies or whatever, there's either going to be emoji face racketeering or her own face racketeering, uh, just smiling and laughing to make a point that she's unbothered. But when people do this, it's usually when they're bothered the most. So as much as her rage baiting, I know upset and bothered a lot of you. I hope you can find even a modicum of comfort in knowing that she is a flash in the pan and that she will have a downfall and it will be glorious. So get your popcorn ready. That was just chef's kiss. But people are noting that she's been at this, like she said, for four freaking years. That is a long time. And for some reason, she's just not interesting enough, funny enough, smart enough to keep people's attention. So she's had to resort to making rage bait content or offending people for views, which is just pathetic if you ask me. But obviously, after all this went down, her employer fired her and released the following statement. We at Rofe, or sorry, I'm not sure if it's Rofe or Rofi, but forgive me. We at Rofi of the Carolinas want to address a recent incident that has caused concern and upset amongst our stakeholders. A newly hired employee made inflammatory remarks on social media that do not align with the values and beliefs of our company. We want to make it clear that these sentiments are not representative of our organization and we do not condone or support such behavior. As soon as we were made aware of the situation, we took immediate action to pull the employee from her assignment, which is not directly with any client of ours, and the employee in question is no longer with our company. It's a really weird way to phrase that, but okay. We are owned and operated by an African-American female and immigrant-owned business and handled this situation as quickly as we could. We want to assure you that we are committed to fostering a diverse, inclusive, and respectful work environment where all individuals are valued and respected. We understand the importance of upholding our principles of equality and understanding, and we will continue to strive to create a culture of respect within our organization. We appreciate the support and trust of our community, and we are dedicated to earning back any confidence that may have been shaken by this unfortunate incident. Thank you for your understanding and continued partnership. So if you had to give your best guess after this, what would you guess that she did? Maybe had some regrets, some remorse, maybe an apology? No. She instead tweeted, Thanks Black community for helping to launch my new career in conservative media. You all played your role like the puppets you are just the worst of the worst type of person and I love how people like this always love to complain about cancel culture oh the woke mob okay first of all nobody is canceling you you are purposely canceling yourself by coming online saying things that are offensive and you know is going to upset people you're, you're creating this rage bait content and then blaming like it feels like we're almost being gaslit in a way because she's doing this knowing that people are gonna be upset and come after her but she's like oh the woke mob is after me you know i'm standing up to the man when when like cancel culture type shit it's like no, obviously we have freedom of speech and you are free to say the horrendous bullshit that you're saying. However, you are not 
free from consequences. You know, I really don't understand this whole thing of people complaining about cancel culture, yet they're doing everything in their power to get themselves canceled. This whole tactic, this whole shtick that she's got going on is so bizarre to me and I can't understand why she thought this was gonna be like her claim to fame, like a good idea. So anyways, eventually she was banned from TikTok. Shocking, I know. And people started sharing some of her older content and you can really start to see this character that she created and the way she was trying to like pander to weirdos and desperate incels online. And it's fascinating. So all those nerds in high school, like the weird theater kids and the anime people and ugh, you know who I'm talking about, the people we didn't hang out with. So they've grown up now and they're the ones making the laws. They're the Mark Zuckerbergs. They're the Fauci's of the world of nerds. Those dorks that never got laid in high school and they've got a major chip on their shoulder against the normies. That's why you see all these fat making laws. Oh, you can be obese and anorexic. Okay, sure. They're the ones inventing clown world. They're the ones in media. They're the actors. You wonder why actors are so politically leftist? Oh, right. It's because they're loser theater kids. They're the theater kids who grew up and now they're telling me and you what to think. They're telling me and you what to do and they're making the laws in this country. Well, it's time to stand the up and stop being scared like why are we scared of these people they were massive losers in high school and they're massive losers today it's time to put the mother nerds back in their place stand the f up she's so angry for what so now with lily thinking she has a career in right-wing media she unsurprisingly made an appearance on infowars to be interviewed what is kind of the backstory behind lily right so i've always been super conservative obviously i was raised in a super conservative conservative household um you know so it's not like, like being red pilled is new to me um i've always been somewhat active on social media and always super um <clears throat> outspoken with how i with my beliefs and stuff because they're correct um and then recently i was like i'm gonna start making you know little minute videos of just like me talking about the stuff that we all think but a lot of us are too scared to say out loud um, and then they started to build a little track and then I had a few kind of go a little bit viral. So I was like, okay, we'll start an X account. That first one got banned, of course. Um, and then I just restarted a new one and we were, we're back in business now. Um, victimhood is very, very profitable these days. You know, the, the person highest up on the victim bar, you know, they get all the attention. Everybody wants to be a victim these days. Like everybody wants to be a victim. And so you know, there, let's be real, there's not a lot of racism in this country. There is racism in other countries, but I won't mention that because we're talking about America right now. But in America, you're pretty damn lucky to be, you know, born in this country. And that's my opinion on that. So, you know, people can take a word out of context and they love to do that. And they, so they have to have a racist. So I'm a perfect racist for them. You know what I mean? So I think it's just willful ignorance, people taking things out of context and they have to have a villain. So if I'm I'm gonna be the villain for the day that's fine i volunteer so oh lily shortly after all this went down lily was exposed for being a hypocrite with people sharing screenshots where she was tweeting the exact opposite of what she's saying now in 2019 lily was the one online calling people racist and anti-semitic so now lily has started a new tiktok account but she's not getting anywhere near the same attention as she was before instead people are mainly commenting just to mock her. She's still unemployed, still seemingly single, and sadly for Lily, I don't see a future for her in mainstream right-wing media. She started off with a bang when she decided to go on TikTok and drop the N-word and essentially blew her chance at gaining any credibility with conservative white house moms. It's a tale as old as time. You try for years to get noticed, fail, resort to saying something offensive for views, and end up sabotaging your own future and any hope for a sustainable career. All things considered, I don't wish Lily the best. Instead, I hope she finds healing and a path to a more fulfilling life.
Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I know it wasn't a deep dive, more of just like a rundown of all the key points in the Lily fiasco. That's all I can really handle right now. If I missed anything important, please let me know in the comments below. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care and always remember, think before you post on social media. All right, thanks guys. That Lily Gaddis girl had me so stressed. And if you don't know who she is, she's this girl, this trad wife cosplay wannabe who tripled down when she called um, people broke. And I was so worried because it was picking up so much attention. And she was like, thank you for launching my conservative media influencing career. And I was like, oh no, oh no. Like Pearl has a career. Like it might not be great, but Pearl has one, you know what I mean? And she's objectively better looking than pearl and i was just like oh my god the conservatives are gonna eat this up well i have an update um they're not eating it up so there's a spectrum like just like how there's a spectrum with you know liberals democrats there's a con there's a spectrum with conservatives non-extreme moderate to extreme and extreme being like you know what i mean and they're the only ones claiming her <laughs> she's the new face of